Welcome to the House and Hammer built by the Nation for the Nation, Radio Nation News Today. Hope everybody's having a great, great Wednesday, uh, Thursday, I'm sorry, Thursday, wherever you guys are at. Those coming on in, y'all know the routine. For those that don't, I'm going to learn you real quick. Break them thumbs, hit them subs, smash the bell. Look, I actually wasn't even supposed to be on, and at the same time, uh, this presser, we know it's just Tay. Jimmy Garoppolo has not cleared concussion protocol yet. So we're going to, I'm going to try to get this up real quickly. Uh-oh, hold on. Let me get um, the injury report up because it should be out now. It's after five o'clock, so they should have something out. Let's take a look and see if we have anything at this time. Um, and we do. Okay, here it is. Uh, Devontae Adams' shoulder did not participate again. He will be taken to the podium at some point. Uh, for his weekly presser, Jacorian Bennett, hamstring and shoulder, limited. Max Crosby, knee limited. Jimmy Garoppolo, limited. Again, he has not cleared concussion protocol yet. So as it stands, it might be Mr. Hey, yo. Slated to start this Monday unless he clears concussion protocol before then. Uh, Nate Hobbs, ankle, he didn't participate. Malcolm Kuntz, groin, limited. David Long, ankle, limited. That was probably from being offside. He probably jacked his ankle up, but whatever. Uh, Jair Alexander for the Packers was limited with the back. Uh, safety Zane Anderson hamstring didn't participate. Linebacker Devondre Campbell ankle did not participate. Rudy Ford oblique did not participate. El Elton Jenkins knee limited. Aaron Jones hamstring limited. Luke Musgrave concussion full participant. He must have cleared concussion protocol. John Runyon. I didn't even know that dude was still in the league. Groin ankle did not participate. Eric Stokes foot limited. Zach Tom, knee limited. Carrington Valentine, bicep full. Christian Watson, their receiver hamstring limited. So there is today's injury report. Again, we are still awaiting Devontae Adams to take to the podium. Um, let me make sure it's not muted or anything, and it is not. So we should be able to hear him once he steps to the podium. Uh, do a quick roll call. Desert Raider salute. Uh, Ryan Lewis, salute, salute. Gunsmoke, what's good, brother? Mark, what's good? Uh, Terry, salute, salute. Everybody, Fire McDaniels. I'm seeing that in their chat right now. Fire McDaniels, tank for Caleb, all that all that fun stuff. So it is what it is. Let me get the chat highlight going. Like I said, I was not supposed to be on. Um, and I wasn't expecting this presser to happen today, but it is. Well, I take that back. I should have expected it because it wasn't. The regular weekly presser, as we know, um, they are playing Monday night. So you guys got the injury report already. Let me get to ESPN.com so we can get the pigskin pick them. Like, I literally just walked through the door and just turned on this computer to be on for you guys. So give me one sec. Let me get to the fantasy and check the pigskin pick them as well. And where we stand with our leaderboard. Guys, you can still join if you want. Um, there have been a couple of new people that have joined, if I remember correctly. But as it stands right now, um, Desert is back on top, unfortunately. Yeah, I said it. Little Tiger, what's good? I am Punchy, what's good? DJ Bunny, what's good? Um, all right, so the standings that we currently have right now with our ESPN pigskin pick them. Desert is in first place at 45 and 19. Dan Raider, 42 and 21. He actually won the Eliminator Challenge. He was the last one surviving after only four weeks. That's just disturbing. The numbers, 38 and 26. I'm at 38 and 26, so we're tied in third place. Um, Silver and Black Attack, 38 and 22. Get it, 38 and 26. So it was a three-way tie. I don't know why 38 and 22 is there, but whatever. Big Marv, 37 and 25. Italian, 1984, 36 and 28. Raider Solo, 34 and 30. VV Selly 32 and 31 Kane Town 28 and 10 ESPN fan 20 and 11 GA Patriot 16 and 16 Big Mike 10 and 6 I am punchy 9 and 7 I see you I see you ESPN fan uh 1 2 blah 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 9 and 7 there's a couple of other ESPN fans that are in there that are O and O so keep grinding y'all um Desert I'm coming after you bro <laughs> Shout out to my brother Thor see you in Two weeks. See you in two weeks, bro. Um, let me see if I can get this chat. I got to highlight this. Make sure I can highlight this anyways. Ah, there it is. There it is. Shout out to my guy, Bali. Um, yeah, Thor. We'll see you in two weeks, my friend. Raider from New Jersey. What's good, Kenneth? Uh, Kenneth, we are trying to put something together at bar A for 
the Sunday game against the New York football giants. I want that bar. I want bar a completely packed in silver and black. Uh, Graf is slated to come up to the East coast and uh, we are going to have wasted as well. So a full live stream Raiders and giants live from bar a um, tell anybody, you know, on the East coast, cause we're definitely trying to go big with this event. So make sure to tell anybody and everybody salute to you, by the way. Um, Rudy Chavez, I see us going three and 14. I said it on the show the other day, four and 13, five and 12. This shit keeps going the way it's going right now for us. And I have zero fucks given. I have zero apologies when I say that because realistic, this is not the product that should be out there. And again, realistically this team should be a three and one team at this point in time uh the pigskin pick them league uh bam bam let me get back to it actually real quickly it is under <laughs> it's con somebody put content in the chat it's con can't pick them um you know what let me see if i can share i'll share it in the chat i'll share it in the chat for you guys for those that are still wanting to join There it is right there in the chat. There you go. There it is. So click that link. You guys can join and join in on the fun that is right now. I know a couple of guys are missing. Um, at least I know Big Mike. He only played week one so far. Clearly 10 and 6. So he's only played one week. But um, guys, it's not too late to join. Let's have some fun with it. This is one thing that I said that I wanted to do with you guys. We did it last year. Desert Raider won, unfortunately just joking but um yeah just join in let's have some fun with it i'm gonna pull up the presser from earlier i didn't hear it and for those that didn't hear it you get to hear it along with me in regards to josh mcdaniels earlier this afternoon whenever tay takes to the podium obviously we'll cut right to that but i'm gonna play a little of all right this clown uh, already had well, the we're underway uh preparation for green bay um this is a team that uh, obviously we don't necessarily know uh, as well as we know some of the other teams on our schedule. So, um, you know, it's been it's been good to really dive into them, have an extra day to process kind of what their team is like and how they built it, and some of the strengths and weaknesses of their of their program. Uh, obviously, Matt, um, you know, he's he's done a great job uh, coaching their team, their whole front office, putting the team together, but. Uh, since he's been there, I mean, this has been a you know a very successful franchise. Um, you know, no, won a lot of games, when we come together, a lot of big though, games. Um, you know, he does a great job with the offense. I know they're into some transition now with uh, the younger quarterback um, Jordan Love and a lot of the younger skill players um, that are getting an opportunity now to really um, you know get in there and play. They're explosive offensively. The two backs are. Uh, really impressive, very different um, styles, uh, but both nonetheless very difficult to handle and uh, tackle. Uh, tackling is going to be a huge deal this week against this football team. Um, Love's got a big arm, obviously can extend plays and very mobile. So uh, another quarterback, they can do something out of the pocket. So we got to do a good job in, in terms of taking care of those things and being smart about how we defend them. Uh, defense is physical. Mm -hmm. Mm. Uh, their front, I mean, their front's big. They play a lot of Pause. players. Pause. Uh, they're aggressive. Um, you know, the linebackers are very good. Um, you know, and, and Joe does a great job of scheming it uh, to where they can make some yeah, negative plays better every and day. disrupt oh. the offense. Getting better every day. Just got to uh, keep working. Corners are very yeah, active. This is a, uh, a big game for a lot of different reasons, but for you personally, playing against the Green Bay Packers where you grew up as a man and as a, as a football player, it's got to have a little bit of special significance for you. Yeah, I mean, it's it's obviously that's the part leading up to it. But then once the game starts, it's just like every other game. Um, I mean, it's not going to be a whole lot of emotion and all that other stuff tied up in it once you know the the clock is ticking. So, you know, the the story and and the, the specialness of the opportunity to play a team that you kind of um, you know grew up in that organization is, is special. But then, like I said, once once we get going, it's time to go. There's one way. I mean, obviously. There's, I'm sure, an appreciation level for what that city has meant to you, what that organization meant to you yeah. as a player and as a, as a human being. But is the best way to thank them for that by going out there and putting your best version out there and going out there to, to honor what they taught you and how you were, you were brought up? 
Well, maybe not the fans. I don't think they would appreciate that. But, uh, but yeah, the, the organization, I mean, I'm not looking too deep into it as, as it pertains to that stuff. It's more just, um, you know, enjoying the opportunity to see some of the old old faces, you know, in the training room, coaches, a couple players, a lot, much different team over the last uh, couple of years since I was there. So, um, yeah, just it'll be a cool opportunity to see some of those guys and obviously play against the team that I've never played against. It's, the, it's my last team to, to play against, so uh, it'll be fun. The guy that you've talked about in the past that you kind of you know helped grow into the man he is in terms of a player, uh, Jair Alexander, can you just talk about you know how you've seen him grow just as a person and as a player and what's it going to be like to go against him? Yeah, I mean, he's one of the most... Um, one of the most locked in players as far as from from the from the jump that I've been a part, that I've um, got to play with and I still remember I told a story about our first one on one in Green Bay and how I came back in the locker room and he was already on his iPad looking at the tape trying to see exactly what it was and he came up to me and asked me you know what was it that I had seen that led to me doing what I what I did on the route so typically at that point you know my career is people were just you know, if you have young guys come in, especially a rookie, they'll come in and then they'll get beat. And it's just kind of like, you know, we'll learn from it on tape, but it wasn't something that really got to him to their core, like how, how it was with him. So that's when I knew he was going to be a special player. And then um, not that I, not that I, well, I won't say not that I had nothing to do with it, but I didn't, so I didn't great. create that monster, but he definitely turned into one. So it's always good to, to see, um, you know, a player, especially a highly touted player like that, get drafted in the first round and then, um, realize his potential and live up to it. So it's 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 fun to see and it's definitely going to be fun to play against. With those experiences and all, all the reps you took against each other, does this make it even more of a chess match than usual? If you guys are matched up against each other Monday? Mm, no, I mean it'll be it'll definitely be different than any um, head to head or lack for lack of better words um, that I've had in the past. Um, but it'll be just like the other ones, and I'm the sense that we're not going to be lined up across from each other every play. He's not going to follow me probably every single place, and that's just by you know their defensive scheme. I move around a lot and different things like that, and it's just really not how the game is played uh, too much these days. You don't really see one guy just going wherever the guy is because it gives up a lot of tales of what the defense is doing and um, you know and just the the way that they scheme. So um, the the times that we'll have, you know, we'll we'll definitely go and compete, but you know it it, it won't be some. You know, we lined up each other 70 snaps across from each other the whole game, but it'll be fun either way. Would, would you say the way it ended there was more harmonious than maybe it seemed from the outside? Yeah, I mean, we we ended in a good place. Um, I still, not frequently, but I still speak to, you know, the front office guys over there. I checked in on Matt in the off season, hit him on his birthday. Um, all the coaches over there, I love the ones that are that are still there. So, um, you know, the players, obviously, they understood the situation as well. So it wasn't some big, crazy breakup that people thought it was. Obviously, there was um, it, it felt like it just because everything seemed good a week ago. And then, it, you know, obviously I was gone. But uh, a lot of love and respect, mutual love and respect uh, between the, the, the Packers and I. You and Aaron have both come out publicly and talked about the first offer they made you before the 21 season. Mm -hmm. um, you obviously don't go back and, and play the what-if game, but if, if they had given you something that had pleased you, then would you still be there? Still good ask question. Well, I would have played that next year there for sure. I mean, that was, that was what I said. It was obviously a lot of limbo with Aaron and his situation, deciding what his future was going to be like playing football, um, you know, let alone on that team. So, uh, it wasn't really a risk that I could take at the time, and it was a decision that had to be made. But had they made that uh, the, the correct offer or submitted something like they did right before I left, then I would have 100% been there for another year, and then we would obviously see what happened as it as it moved forward. But um, at least for that upcoming season, I would say yes, I would have been there. This right here is about to start a problem this week. 53 that you played with, like you said, it's no longer over. Does that make it easier to take kind of the I don't want to say nostalgia out of this, but the team is so different. Is it just almost another team, or is there still some connection there? I mean, it's still still connection because it's not really about the the players. I'm not bonding with the guys while I'm out there. It's more about the organization and um, you know the the uniform. Seeing that because I won't. I mean, I don't know how many more times in my career, and it definitely hasn't happened to this point where I'll be able to line up across from somebody with with the green and gold on. You know, that'll be that'll take some adjusting. Um, Getting used to that, but yeah. uh, for the most part, it'll you know it'll it'll be just another game. 
has flashes this season, but hasn't been able to find consistency. What do you think the disconnect has been just in terms of replicating that over and over? It's just getting a call and executing it every time. It's just a matter of, you know, just being being one with uh, being one out there on the field and, and having all 11 connected to, to be one. And we haven't had that. It's always been, you know, 10 guys do it right and then one guy does it wrong or nine or whatever, everything but 11 uh, consistently. And that's where you make, um, you know, very difficult. It's difficult to make, hey, you know, especially the way we play the game. And we got to we just got to be more together and people got to own up and, and find a way to, to get their assignment taken care of. And, and once we do that, we'll be able to make more consistent plays. In your experience, is that something that, that clicks at some point? Or is it like, is there a turning point? In, in I mean, it can click, yeah. And you can use that as something that where you use the, the rhythm and find a, a way to consistently keep that going. And then it can be a time where you figure it out and then you go on a dry spill. So you just have to, it's always a work in progress. It's never something that you just figure out and then, you know, you got it taken care of. It's something that you got to work at and continue to work at to, to be in a place where you, you feel comfortable as a team. What makes Aaron Jones such a special player and what can you tell the defense about his style of play from being with him in that locker room for so many years? Yeah, he's just a, such a unique runner, very explosive player and, I never seen anybody like him as far as just how vertical he plays. He, it's not a lot of breaking down, and I think that's a pretty unconventional way of playing that position because, I mean, people are coming out of everywhere. You're running through the smoke. You can easily get hit, especially with the, you know, he's not A.J. Dillon size. So um, going through the hole, I think it's just people aren't ready for it. It's, it's like I said, it's just so downhill and so vertical. He doesn't really give people time to, to get a plan together. You just kind of get up on them and, very slippery player and, and really good vision. And when you put those three together, it's, uh, it creates a, a pretty big problem. You guys all good? All right. Cool. Cool. All right. There you have it. Tay and his weekly presser. Again, Jimmy Garoppolo has still not cleared concussion protocol, so obviously he wasn't at the podium today. Appreciate you guys, though, for hanging on out. Um we went through some of the stuff pretty quickly. The picks can pick them. The, the presser actually started maybe 15, maybe 20 minutes later than it was supposed to. So that wasn't bad. We did the picks can pick them. We did the injury report. We heard maybe two seconds of Josh McDaniels because I don't think anybody really can stand to hear him right now. Like you have people in that live chat um, of the Raiders presser. Tank for Caleb. Uh, it's Mark Davis's fault, this, that, and the third. Again, it's this past week was the culmination of three things. Josh McDaniels, once again, our offensive line. The last two weeks, our offensive line and Josh McDaniels have been like the major problems. The penalties, the stupid penalties, again, um, especially more this, this past weekend. You had uh, an opportunity for a strip sack by Max Crosby, and offsides was called on David Long. You had... Um, Jerry Tillery get ejected on that unnecessary roughness hit. Like, stupid shit. Guys that we need just doing dumb shit. And you heard what Devontae Adams just said uh, just now in regards to what is going on. Lack there of chemistry. You'll have nine guys doing it right and maybe one, two doing it wrong. So, look, he's holding his players accountable as a captain of this team. Rightfully so. He should be holding these guys accountable. They have to turn a corner. And... This is probably another great opportunity to try to do that. We're back home again. Again, not really home for us because we know the Packers are another team that travels incredibly deep. So we'll probably see a whole bunch of Chiefs heads throughout Allegiant Stadium this coming Monday night. We will be live for that game. Um, right now I'm on the fence about doing the Red River uh, showdown between Texas and Oklahoma. If I'm around, I'll most definitely do it, but we shall see. Um, let me get to this chat real quick. Stop blaming the Charger loss on McDaniels. <clears throat> Our QB fumbling twice and throwing a bat is not the coach's fault, brother. I know you know football better than that. I absolutely do know football better than that. But how did AO AO fumble? What caused him to fumble? Terrible offensive line blocking. A couple, I think two of them, if I remember correctly, Khalil Mack just bumped into him. Didn't even attempt to strip it, just bumped into Aiden O'Connell. 
The offensive line played a part. Josh McDaniels' play calling did play a part in it as well. So uh, another one. Don't don't question my knowledge of football because I know what I saw. The shit was clear as day. Terrible play calling again. Shit wasn't working so great in the first half. They turned a leaf in the second half. Again, any other rookie, any other veteran quarterback that went through all that shit that AO went through this past Sunday, they would have folded real quick. He dusted himself off and tried to carry this team to try to come back and make a win. So please don't ever try that again. Shout out to Arian Howlin. Welcome to the family, bro. Thank you for becoming a member to the channel. Much appreciated, man. Shout out to Dominique. What's good? Trex Lord, bro, Chandler Jones is back and now mentioning they pushed the drugs into... Oh, my God. Here we go. He's got to stop. He's got to stop. But look, no longer a Raider. And for this situation, it's not once a Raider, always a Raider. At this point, it's not our monkey, not our circus. We need to leave that alone and focus on this coming Monday in our matchup against the Green Bay Packers. We need to focus on trying to potentially be two and three at night's end this coming Monday night. Khalil Mack destroyed number 72 of those fumbles. Jermaine got pushed back into the lap of AO, plus Aiden is a rookie. Thank you. Thank you. This was Aiden O'Connell's very first experience at the NFL level. Preseason does not count. You're going against third, fourth, fifth guys that are trying to earn jobs. He went against, against legitimate starters. And again, this last the last two weeks, the offensive line has collapsed dramatically. 13 sacks. 13 total sacks in the last two weeks. So please miss me with that bullshit. He's definitely on another level, man. Uh, TJ, I heard somebody talking about that the other day. I can't remember who it was. So it is what it is. Um, Randy Gregory is definitely a defensive lineman that I do like. Um, it all depends on what the asking price would be. And I, I don't mean necessarily money. I mean, trade capital, draft capital, what have you. So we'll see. Aiden didn't fold down 24-7. Aiden brought them back into 24-17. Remember, run the damn ball. Talk that shit, Primos. Thank you. Thank you. Again, one thing you can never question is my knowledge and IQ of football because it's been in my blood since I was born. Let's do this again. Hey yo. That's right, damn it. Good stuff. I'll I'll give you that. And again, it is what it is at this point. This is a shoulda, woulda, coulda situation, but at the same time, they drove the ball downfield, got to the four yard line first and goal, and you attempt a, a pass play with a running back who is averaging a little over two yards per carry on Sunday. Um, you needed four yards to score, right? How many plays would it have taken for him to punch it in? Anybody? Anybody can do the math? I'm not giving you the answer because this is kind of like a hypothetical, but you guys know your math, so figure it out. Our O-line is in bad need of help, and we need better coaching. Thank you. Us Raider fans are crazy. I feel like even if we do draft Caleb after one loss, they're going to crucify dude. Facts. Facts. Shout out to John B. Just because you put it in the chat. Yeah. There you go, buddy. All this falls on the shoulders. Of, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. People understand and people are seeing it the same damn way. 7-14 and 14 is a head coach here as well. Steering away from shit that worked. If it ain't broke, don't fix it. You blew leads last year that should have... that Last season, again, woulda, coulda, shoulda. Last season's team should have been a 12-5 and five team. Maybe 11 and 6. Stop. Stop with the excuses and stop trying to protect because, look, I gave him the chance. I gave him the benefit of the doubt. And this is where we're at right now. This is where we're at. Steelers game, you go for a field goal when you're down 8. Last week, you're at the 4-yard line, first and goal. You had 4 opportunities to punch it in, and instead you decide to pass on the very first play. So please, if you guys are trying to protect him, <laughs> you must really not be a Raiders fan. Maybe you are a Patriots fan. Again, sorry, not sorry. I told y'all before, I'm not holding any punches back with any of this stuff anymore. Like, I'm going to be brutally honest, and if the truth hurts, sorry about your damn luck. Hate to say it, better roll with Garoppolo. O-line seemed to play better with Jimmy. 
Jimmy knows this offense. AO is still learning this offense and learning the speed of the game at the next level. Again, we have to take into consideration all of this. And with Jimmy G, he's reacclimating to this system. We have to wait and see. Again, for those that are coming in, welcome. For those that haven't already, do me a favor, break them thumbs, hit them subs, smash the bell. We did go through the injury report. I'll go through it one last time before I wrap it up. But as it stands right now, Jimmy Garoppolo is still in concussion protocol. We don't know if he's going to be cleared by Monday. We might have to prepare for AO. We might have to prepare for AO. This coming Monday night versus the Green Bay Packers, which I'm fine with, man. I am fine with it. The play call is predictable. I said this. Asante knew the play because they ran the exact same play in the drive before. Yeah, you did say that, bro. AO will be all right, just not this year. Look, we talked about him potentially starting, but I said for him it would be potentially starting if this team was complete ass towards the tail end of the season. We didn't expect Garoppolo to get knock, get his lights knocked out and uh, be in concussion protocol right now, even though some people had an over-under of him being injured by, by game five. McDowell's making the same mistakes all the time. Then he has the audacity to blame players for poor execution. Fire that fool. Talk that shit, bro. All right. Um, right. I'm going to go through this injury report one last time. I'm going to wrap it up. Like I said, it wasn't even supposed to be on, so it is what it is. Uh, For the Raiders, you did hear from Devontae Adams. He did not participate as he's dealing with that shoulder injury. Ja'Korian Bennett, hamstring and shoulder, limited. Max Crosby, limited with the knee. Jimmy Garoppolo, once again, has not cleared concussion protocol, was limited. Nate Hobbs, ankle did not participate. Malcolm Coons, groin limited. David Long, ankle limited. For the Packers, cornerback Jair Alexander, back limited. Uh, safety Zane Anderson, hamstring, did not participate. Linebacker Devondre Campbell, ankle did not participate. Safety Rudy Ford, oblique, did not participate. Elton um, Jenkins, a guard and tackle, he was limited with the knee. Aaron Jones, a running back, hamstring limited. Uh, tight end Luke Musgrave, concussion, full participant. Guard John Runyon, groin ankle, did not participate. Cornerback Eric Stokes, foot, limited. O uh, offensive lineman Zach Tom, knee, limited. Cornerback Carrington Valentine, bicep, full participant. And wide receiver Christian Watson, hamstring, limited. So that is today's injury report. I will post it momentarily on IG. You guys see the socials going across the bottom of the screen. If you're not following or subscribed to any of them, make sure to hit that follow button. Most specifically, X and IG, because that's where I am a lot of the time. And I will answer questions if you guys reach out to me through those social media platforms as well. Um, let me just look through the chat one more time. It's Puka Nakua, not Poopin Nakula. <laughs> now you got me saying that shit. 20 or 32 teams have brand new everything, yet 20 or 32 teams don't have seven interceptions and average 15 points. It's coaching and la lack of details. Enough will assuming players know what they're doing. There you go, Reese. I salute to you. I saw you in the, in the Raiders chat before. We thought Jimmy was done game one. Bro's luck is bad. Yo, y'all are horrible. I find McDaniel's bad calls to be very timely. I'm convinced he's low-key tanking for which position. I have no idea. Hammer, you made me take 2-2 two -two Atwell over Gabe Davis last week, and I lost. Omni, I apologize, bro. I want to know why Jimmy G played the full game against the Steelers when dealing with with such a severe concussion to the point he could be out for another game. That's crazy. And I told you guys, I saw when he walked out. I saw when he was walking into the tunnel just before halftime, and I was like, oh, shit. Like, is he coming back? And they threw him back in there, so it is what it is. Hey, Sarasta. What up, boss? What I say? What I know? What All right, guys. We've been on for a little over a half hour. Hope you're doing well, man. Great content. And visuals look awesome. I had to do something different. As you guys see, the rundown's running away now. I had to do something different, something a little bit more innovative, something a little bit more creative, and I do this for you guys. We do have a lot of new graphics and stuff that are going to be in store um, this coming Monday night as we will be live. I believe Graph is going to be on as well. We will be live for Monday Night Football as we are back at Allegiant. I'm not calling it home until I see 90, 10, 80, 20, 70, 30, silver and black in the stand. So we head back to Allegiant Stadium in beautiful Las Vegas, Nevada to face NFC North dumpster fire. No, I'm just joking. <laughs> Green Bay heads into Vegas to face us. Um, 
the last team that Devonte Adams faces as he's played all other, all the other 31 teams in the league. So yeah, uh, let's see. Big tone nods. Puka Chu, I can't. Early predictions. Raiders 34, Packers 23, okay? I, I don't want to give any predictions yet, man. Bro, if AO starts again, I'm putting all the money I won on the last game up again. Oh, my God. Love the show, bro. Keep it. Keep after it. Always, man. And those that are new in here, hit that subscribe button. You guys see in the top right, we're at 6846. Ultimate goal is 10K by Super Bowl. Let's get to 7K, man. Let's just, we ain't far from it. Let's get to 7K. Tell a friend to tell a friend to tell a friend. And again, those in here for the first time, don't let it be a last. Break them thumbs, hammer that sub, smash the bell to stay up to date with all your Raiders news, rumors, updates, live streams, fantasy, and more in the house and hammer built by the nation for the nation, Raider Nation News today. Arian said, gotta believe, not saying 30 until we see 20. Damn. Nah, we'll be in green Vegas. <sighs> Pretty much, bro. Pretty much. It's going to be Green Vegas, yeah. You you guys are spot on with that. And look, again, I'm not going to apologize for that. I told you. When we're doing good, you're going to get your credit when, where credit's due. But when you're playing like shit or you're coaching like shit, I'm not holding back. I'm going to tell you exactly how it is. I know that people will be butthurt over it, but maybe I'm just more passionate than most because football is my life. So I don't know. Not a knock, not an insult just a fact of life but i am gonna wrap it up um we will probably do a matchup preview maybe tomorrow and if not tomorrow then probably uh saturday night so i appreciate all y'all pulling on up tonight continue to stay safe most importantly be kind to one another covid is back on the rise remember to wash your hands and your asses and as always win loser tie read a nation till i die till next time y'all Peace, love, and positivity. See you guys soon.